Greetings, my friends. Welcome to another Taos Tarot Fairy Card Reading. This is an interesting card. It is the Fairy Queen of Winter, which is the equivalent to the Queen of Swords in the more traditional tarot decks. It touches on a question that many of us have faced at one point or another in our lives, and perhaps we are facing it right now. The Fairy Queen of Winter sits in the solitude. She has learned to let go of anything or anyone who brings her life more drama than joy. Her strength comes from the understanding and wisdom that has developed throughout her life due to the conflicts, challenges, and obstacles that she has faced and had to overcome. She does not suffer fools lightly, but has learned to take them with a grain of salt. She is always there to help those who, like her, have had to face these things in life. She is there to reassure us that the rocky road less traveled is not the wrong road for those of us who still have the power to dream and the desire to fly above the nonsense and the illusion that we, the ones who walk outside of the herd, know in our heart is not the way for us. Though sometimes that road can feel lonely, you are not alone. Those of us who walk a different path than the majority the masses have experienced a bit more conflict with the world around us than most people. That includes conflict even from those that are closest to us, friends and family, and perhaps even more conflict from them simply because we are closer to them than we are to the others out there. We have all experienced negative feedback and at times downright destructive criticism from many directions. Many of those criticisms are based on trying to get those of us who walk a different path to be normal. But, as we have all thought in our own minds, what is normal? What is good for them, the masses, does not really relate to some of us. And, it is sad but true, some people are actually toxic to those of us who do not fit in to the constraints of the parameters set up in the normal world, which makes our path a hard path to walk. And yet, somehow, we find the strength to carry on and have no wish to fit into those constraints, regardless of the struggles we encounter to stay true to ourselves and our hearts. It can be a very tiring battle we have to fight throughout our lives to walk this road less traveled and the negativity we feel from those who do not walk it, those who prefer to follow the status quo, can be quite draining at times, especially during those times of doubt when we are not completely sure that they aren't right. It sometimes can be overwhelming when the majority of people in your world who follow along with the herd mentality are criticizing you as you stand there alone outside of the herd saying to yourself, no, they are wrong, this is the way. But trust me, my friends, just because you are a part of a minority, that does not in any way signify that you are not right in your choices. Many great minds and spirits have stood outside of the herd as you do now. And all of this does not just have to be in reference to a a more spiritual path. It can relate to anything. Starting your own business, following a more creative path as a writer, artist, musician, etc. There are and have been many great minds who walk this path. You have to let go of those doubts in yourself and let go of the things that give you those doubts. As you see on the card, it says to let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Rest assured, the fairy queen of winter, nor I, am telling you to turn away from those you love. All we are saying is to let go of them in a metaphorical sense. Sure, you will still love your family and friends, but if they are holding you back with their negative views and lack of understanding of what you want out of your life, what you must do, then stand strong against them, not in verbal battles, but inside of your own self. Understanding is the first step. You must understand that they simply cannot fathom what you see as your way because it is not their way. 
Years ago, I wrote the following quote, and I am still learning to understand it deeper and deeper as I go through life. When I came to truly understand my greatest enemy, that understanding created compassion. And as that understanding and compassion for my enemy deepened, he lost all of his power over me. Thus, he was totally defeated by my compassion for him. Those who plant the doubt and fear in your life, those who keep you from flying, have no real power over you unless you give them that power. Rest assured, those of us who follow the road less traveled are not wrong simply because we are a minority. Albert Einstein once said, Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. The resistance you have encountered in your journey is not new. It is not yours and yours alone. Many more advanced spirits have faced these same trials that you face. But, as the Fairy Queen would be quick to point out, the hardships and obstacles you have encountered in your life, your journey, are the very things that have given you the strength to keep moving down your path. You are stronger than you know, and as I have said before, the fairy respect a good-hearted person and will always be there to quietly help you accomplish your dreams and goals. They, and especially the queen, will help you fly high above those who would hold you down to the ground. Love your family and friends, but trust your own heart against all other things and all other voices. The truth, your truth, can only be found inside of you. No one else can tell you which way to go. On your path, there are no maps, only the intuition that comes from your spirit, your heart. Listen to it in the silence of aloneness as you consciously quiet all of the other voices from your past. It, your heart, will never lead you astray. It is where your truth lies. Listen to it, for it is time for you to fly. One last thing I am sure the Queen of Winter would appreciate, a quote from a great mind. Here's to the crazy ones the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the one thing you cannot do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward, and while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius, because the ones that are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Steve Jobs Good day, my friends.